Hello everyone, and welcome to this Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 with the Road to 56 mod as well as some other mods. And today I will be playing as the Kingdom of Romania, located in southeastern Europe in the Balkans. And here's the political screen for the Kingdom of Romania, led by Prime Minister George Tatarescu of the FRN. Frontul Renasteri Nazionale, an authoritarian online party. He is the head of government, and the head of state is King Carol II, who is not shown here at the moment. And I have two national spirits, King Carol II's lifestyle and neutral foreign policy. King Carol II's lifestyle. King Carol II is well known for his expensive tastes and his willingness to indulge the even more lavish tastes of his mistress. He has caused considerable scandals in the past and will likely continue to do so unless he is replaced or shown the error of his ways. Neutral foreign policy, which gives me joint faction tension limit and guarantee tension limit of plus 100.0% and send volunteers tension limit of plus 20.0%. Neutrality is sometimes viewed as a craven stance. But this nation trusts that when the dust settles, those who didn't take sides may be better off than those who did. Now let's look at the national focus tree. So at first we have two parts of the national focus tree, and I can either go with Preserve Greater Romania or Balkans Dominance. Both have their uh, advantages and disadvantages. With Preserve Greater Romania, I can ally with either Common Turn, the Axis, or the Allies. Or if I go with Balkan do uh, Balkan's Dominance, I can create my own faction and take over certain nations. Uh, so let's look at Preserve Greater Romania. We have at last managed to unite all Romanian speakers in our country. Now we must ensure that our children may inherit our legacy of Romania for all Romanians. Uh, and this will give me national, the national spirit Preserve Greater Romania, which grants guaranteed tension limit minus uh, sorry, it'll give uh, me the national spirit Preserve Greater Romania, which will grant guarantee tension limit minus 100.0% and guarantee cost minus 50%. On the other hand, Balkan's Dominance will give me uh, it'll, uh, it's basically the following. The key to a prosperous Romanian future lies not with the revolutionaries of the East or the democracies or fascists of the West, but with Romanian Dominance of the Balkans. And this will give me uh, the National Spirit Balkans Dominance, which will grant Justify War Goal Time minus 25.0%, and will set the rule can create factions. So I think I'll go with Balkans Dominance, as I do want to create my own faction, and become a sort of regional power within the Balkan region. Now let me train some soldiers. I'll train a few infantry divisions and armored divisions. There we go, that's good. Now let me set my research. I'm gonna research support weapon one. Recon one, VK four hundred and fifty-one P. This tank and Gulf Four's uh, thirty-seven millimeter. This artillery. Let me build some military factories and some civilian factories. And I'll. I have some free military factories. I'll build some support equipment and. Infantry Equipment 1, and with my free dockyards, I'll build um, Regella Ferdinand Class Early Destroyer. It is January 1st, 1936. At this point in history, Romania is at the height of its power, especially since after the Great War, or World War I, as we know it, they took over Transylvania from uh, Austria-Hungary and Hungary, and they took over Bessarabia from 
what was once the Russian Empire, and they also took some land from Bulgaria. After the Second Balkan War and World War I, or as it's known now, the Great War. So anyways, it's uh, time to go. Let us begin. King's mistress purchases villa. Magda Lupescu, mistress of King Carol II, has reportedly purchased a new villa in an expensive in an expensive suburb of Bucharest. How she could afford it was subject of extensive speculation. New evidence in foreign newspapers strongly suggests that the king himself authorized the purchase with government money. The scandal is spreading, and we must make a public announcement on the matter as soon as possible. So I have two options in order to deal with this uh, issue. The government has purchased the building and allowed Miss Lepescu residence, or the king took the money out of an advance on his allowance. This last one will lose me minus 90 political power, so I'll just go with the first one, which will give me a national spirit supplementary budget, which will grant consumer goods factories 20% for 90 days. That's certainly the lesser of two evils. Now it's time to set up my armies and my army groups. So these La commanda. Progressed. I will have as an army along the Bulgarian border, the eastern part of it anyways, and these soldiers near Kerova I'll have along the western border with Bulgaria. Hang on, let me just fix those borders a little bit. Not those borders, those, I guess, whatever, I guess some um, areas of combat for front lines. I'll fix them. There we go, that's better. No, not there. Adunara. So the soldiers along the border with Bulgaria will be their own theater, and I'll have my soldiers in the west as their own theater. Attenzione! Army three will be along the border with Hungary, Army 2 will be along the border with Yugoslavia, and I'll have Attenzione. another army with its own theater, Army 5 along the border with the Soviet Union, Ordonate. and I'll also create two other armies, Army 6 and Army 7, La Comanda. Their own theater, one along the border Adunara. with Czechoslovakia, and the other along the border with Poland. La Comanda. Now I just have to assign generals and create army groups and assign field marshals. And I also have to assign to the front. I'll just divide them up. Gata de march. There we go. Diplomatically speaking, the Kingdom of Romania is guaranteeing the independence of Czechoslovakia, Turkey, and Greece as we can see right here. And Romania also um, has its independence guaranteed by Poland. So that's that. Now let's assign those generals and create the army groups and assign the field marshals. So this is Army Group 1 in uh, Theater 1 along the border of Bulgaria. Ordonat. Romania's former enemy from World War I, or the Great War, as it would be known in 1936. Hang on. There we go. Adunara. And I'll create another army group here in the west. I'm in this. Two armies. Attenzione! Ordonat! Okay, restrictions upon Bulgaria lifted. The Greek government has agreed to the rearmament of the Bulgarian military. After the Great War, Bulgaria has. Bulgaria had been limited in its military efforts and production. Bulgaria has a record of abiding to them, however, which convinced the Greeks that the effects should be lifted, if they deem it wise. Now, 
Now, that could cause some problems later, uh, especially if Bulgaria decides to join the Axis powers, uh, which they might do. Now, let's get back to assigning those generals. Attenzione! Gata de marche! Hang on, I'm fine with the color of that army. Ordonați! Ordonați! Hang on. There we go. Now let's look at my insufficient resources. Let me trade some tungsten with maybe Sweden. Okay, that's good. And some steel with France. There we go. That's been resolved. Has it? Okay, the steel hasn't arrived. For okay, okay. It's all been resolved. Now, if I do go to war with another country, the first one I plan to go to war with and bring into my faction is Bulgaria. And I do plan on being allies with Greece, maybe Czechoslovakia and Poland, if they're still around. I also got to watch out for the Soviet Union, as they may want to conquer me and turn me into a communist country. Also got to watch out for Hungary, as it could join the Axis and try to take over uh, Transylvania, take it back from me. Yugoslavia could also be an ally, or I may just divide it up into different countries. But we'll worry about that later. And the Spanish Civil War has broken out. Interesting. And maybe Albania could also be an ally if the Italians don't take them over. And as for Turkey, I could invite them into my faction, but I'm, I don't even know if they'd want to. But I'll still keep good relations with them. my government once I have more political power. Okay. Italy annexed Ethiopia, not surprising, but unfortunate. And there's the Spanish Civil War. Okay, Balkans dominance is done. Uh, what now? I'm gonna go with, um, how about national defense industry? We must greatly expand our national arms industry if we are to keep up with increased demands. And this will give me in Bessarabia two building slots and one military factory, and in Mutenia, one building slot and one military factory. Let's do it. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. That's not good. Worrying. What's going on in other countries? Not much of Hungary at the moment, or Greece. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. What happens there is what I'm most interested in. And I do, even if I do found my own faction, I'll still have uh, good relations with France, even though I don't at the moment for some reason. And maybe even with Britain. Even though, again, we don't have good relations for some reason. Okay, the supplementary budget idea, or national spirit, as I should say, it is gone. But I do have this natural spirit, Balkan's Dominance, which, will, uh, which does give me Justify War Gold Time at minus 25.0%. In fact, if I'm going to go to war with Bulgaria in the future, which I almost certainly will, let me 
establish some battle plans. Adunara. If I'm going to do that, I might as well have an army in the center. Okay. Attention. I'll just do that. Have an army in the center between army one and two. Uh, why not? I'll have army one go for the Turkish border, past Varna and Burgas. I'll have army two go straight for Sofia, the capital, and along the border with Yugoslavia slash Serbia, or the Serbian part of Yugoslavia, to be more exact. And I'll have a, an army in the center go straight for Walvdiv. That'll be Army 8. And I'll have it along this part of the border. And these are mountains here, so it's good to have a general experienced in mountain warfare. Let's add Adunara! There we go. Now Army 8 could use some more soldiers. So I'll send some more soldiers that way. Attention. In fact, let me even out the soldiers between the fronts along Hungary and Yugoslavia. That sounds good. And I'll send more soldiers down towards the commander. Because they're the first country I want to take over. La commander. Ordonati. Let me research Gustloff 20mm artillery and Skoda CKD LT version 35. Okay, all the armies along the border with Bulgaria are now stronger than, the Bul uh, than their Bulgarian counterparts and the army plans are all um, to our advantage. And I also forgot, let me assign an admiral to the Flota Romania de Mare, my sole naval fleet in the, uh, in the Black Sea. My sole admiral. There we go. Let's go back to the land front. Second London Naval Treaty signed. Interesting. Okay, let me modify my government, and for my military staff, for my chief of army, I will have Ion Antonescu, army offense expert, as my chief of army. And he will give me division attack plus 10.0%. That's definitely a good thing. I'll definitely need that if I want to take over other countries in the future, and want to expand my power in the Balkans. If I want to do all that, I gotta have some army offense power. And I have some free dockyards. I'll build more Regella Ferdinand class early destroyer hall. Everything seems to be good along the Bulgarian border, except this army, Army 2, could be a little stronger. Oh, what's this? Oh, apparently, a civil war has broken out in Greece. Civil war in Greece. Though this conflict has been brewing since months, it was the provisional prime minister's death that was the straw that broke the camel's back and initiating a conflict that still no one knows how long will last, but everyone hopes it won't be long. What about the debt, though? Greece and debt. Some things never change. Okay, let's look at Greece. So, there's the Democratic Republic of Greece. Um, a communist state under Marcos Vifadis, and there's the Hellenic state, 
a fascist state under Georgios Mercutis. So I was hoping on having um, Greece as an ally, but if they're not going to be democratic, I don't know. It might not be worth having them as an ally. I definitely was intending on my faction being a democratic faction and having Romania be a light of liberty in the factions. So yeah, I'm not sure how Greece can play into that. So I'm done with national defense industry. Let me go with army maneuvers. Our army must be bought back in shape for potential future armed conflicts. We will send them on maneuvers to develop new tactics and strategies. Effect army experience plus 25. Let's do it. There we go. Let me research um, basic machine tools and military police work. build some more light tank ones. And toward artillery one with my new military factories. Looks like the Hellenic state will win against the Democratic Republic of Greece. Can't say I'm rooting for either side to be honest. Wait a little bit to modify my government. Again, yes, I'll go with the first option so as not to lose so much political power. That just seems like the best bet. Czechoslovakia starts border fortification project. Interesting. modify my government now. I'm going to have, for my military high command, George Avramescu, infantry expert. He'll give me infantry division attack plus 10.0% and infantry division defense plus 15.0%. Okay, tungsten trade with Sweden has been terminated. That sucks. Anyways, I'll go with George Avramescu as uh, one of the members of my military high command. He definitely uh, gives his perks, or has his perks, I should say. Same difference. I am done with my army maneuvers. I'm going to go with go back here, go with agrarian reform. Our agrarian sector has ample room for improvement, streamlining it, and improving its efficiency will free up workforces that can be employed in other sectors, such as construction and arms production. And this will give me the national spirit agrarian reform, which grants consumer goods factories minus 5%. Let's do it. What's going on in some of my neighbor, uh, neighboring countries? What's going on in Hungary? Strengthening the fascists, that's not good. Okay. I'll research. 
search. Um, what will I research? I'll research construction one. Yeah, I'll research that. What's going on in Bulgaria? Uh-oh, they're going down a revanchist route, trying to reclaim old territories. That's not good. Olympics. Can't remember which were the first Olympics Romania participated in. Insufficient resources. Anyway, this can be fixed. Okay. Well, that sucks. I'll have to wait for this supplementary budget national idea to go away. Sweden has revoked the Alon Convention. Uh oh. So apparently Sweden is no longer a neutral nation, diplomatically speaking. But closer to home, the agrarian reform is done. And I'm going to build, or I should say, I'm going to go down this focus and I'm going to go with the Nubian Transport Network. 
our transport capabilities and the set of can be drastically improved upon, both by utilizing the river itself more effectively and the way it is connected to our road and rail networks. And this will give me one infrastructure in Montenia, Altenia, and Bana each. Let's go. Okay, America has passed. Uh, the U.S. Congress has passed the Neutrality Act. Interesting. Okay, what should I research now? Uh, field Hospital 1 sounds good. I'll modify my government. I'm going to have Nikola Malaksa, Captain of Industry, as a member of my government, as a political advisor. He'll give me infrastructure construction speed, civilian factory constru uh, construction speed, and refinery construction speed, each 10.00%. He sounds great. He sounds like he'll be very useful. Let's assign him. Yeah. 